Hello everyone, so I have an update here on the Ukrainian Marine drone attack on Sevastopol. First, this video playing now was initially reported as being a Buyan M class ship. I reported that too in yesterday's video. It isn't. It's a Project 2216 patrol boat, now reported as being the Pavel de Zarvin. So sorry for that little mistake there. This is the same ship which reportedly hit a mine a couple of days ago. The mine strike didn't seem to have happened, as there's no sign of rescue tugs towing it, it's moving under its own power, and residents of Sevastopol reported a big explosion when the attack on this boat took place. So I don't think it hit a mine, but it has since been hit by a Ukrainian marine drone. Now Ukraine does say that two ships were attacked, a Project 22160 and a Buyan M, which accounts for the confusion. However, I'm going to say a Buyan M was not attacked. All three Buyan M's are shown here, currently at Nova Assist Naval Base on this satellite image. The Black Sea Fleet does have four Buyan M's, but one is deployed in the Mediterranean. Our next update actually comes from a Russian source, Rybar, a propagandist channel. Rybar says the ship got damaged to the propeller and a tugboat was sent to a sister. The tug was then also attacked. The Project 22160, Pavel Zazarvin, is now on its way to Novo Assist for repairs. But the tug needs more urgent repairs in Sevastopol, which is pretty interesting. No Ukrainian source has reported that a rescue tug sent to assist for dissolving was then hit and was damaged quite badly. So we only know about this thanks to Russian sources. This could be a Sorum class tug. This satellite image shows a Project 22160 with a possible tug outside the harbour providing support and a Sorum class tug nearby. An image of a Sorum class tug is shown here. Judging by the rust, she looks like she's spent a lot of time underwater already. I don't envy any ship getting a tug off of one of these. It's almost a guarantee it'll get Goronaria. Now, that isn't all that Rybar says. Let's go back to Rybar's statement. So Rybar says the explosion occurred underwater, saying it may be drone submarines. Rybar's map of the attack, shown here, suggests that it was the Remus 100 which America sent. But it could be the first use we have of Ukraine's own unmanned submersible. The Tolika TLK-150 Underwater Maritime Drone. This was designed by Ukraine. You can see in this image that it is smaller than other drones. This image put together by H.R. Sutton. And so, it likely carries a smaller warhead. But it is stealthier as it travels underwater, with just a little bit sticking above the surface. We've seen Ukraine marine drones can hold oil tankers and landing craft. So this Project 22160 getting more minor damage looks like it was hit by something smaller, possibly one of these Tolikas TLK-150s. Finally, here's an image of a Pavel Dazarvin in working order. So it's a Project 22160. These are corvettes which carry out patrol duties, often escorting ships such as um, tankers and transport vessels. Four are in the Black Sea Fleet. One. Most likely, the Sergei Kotov has been seen in dry dock at Novo Assist with signs of damage after a past marine drone attack. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Now, before we finish, I'm going to play a message from the Ukraine Volunteer Centre about an ongoing fundraiser. Take care, everyone. Good afternoon, greetings from the Ukrainian Volunteer Center. Today we are announcing a new fundraising. One Volkswagen uh, Taurek car for paramedics from uh, Donetsk direction. They desperately need a car as all their vehicles were damaged during the last attack on their position. Car price is $10,000. And uh, 1,000 liters of GSL fuel for a third separate battalion of Ukrainian volunteer army going because there is a catastrophic lack of fuel. The fuel at war is like a blood that circulates in the logistics artery. Without it we won't be able to achieve our goals. Fuel price is $1,500. The 
recently soldiers from aerial reconnaissance on the Zaporizhia direction contacted us and they need a message for the antenna to fly longer. The mass price is $300. Also, a pharmaceutical company contacted us from abroad and they are ready to send us 200 first aid kits and its price $1,200. The overall goal of the fundraising is uh, ten thousand and four thousand dollars. We read your comments. That's why we have decided to make a two shirt of glasses uh, set. And the first one will be sent to the person who will make the biggest donation, and the second we will send to a random person who will make a donation starting from twenty dollars. Thank you all of your kind words in the comments. Thank you for your trust and thank you for your support. Glory to Ukraine.